this is Jeff, and today I'm excited to show you a new uh, processor that I've been working on, uh, very similar to a ball mill, gone ahead and welded and modified a treadmill so that the rollers can fit a large cylindrical piece on them, in this case a aluminum keg. And what we're going to do is take some gold ore that has gold in it, hopefully, and I've gone ahead and screened a lot of it so there's some fines down there that we'll put in the mill. And then along with these coarser pieces, uh, similar to like a sag mill, so this will act as the grinding media. And uh, eventually I'd like to get some steel balls in there to really expedite the process. But go ahead and uh, get it all loaded and fire her up. All right, so the keg is already filled up here with some gold ore that we're gonna run. And the nice thing about the treadmill is that it has variable speed. And so that gives us the ability to adjust how fast the mill is spinning. And so we'll go ahead and start it out slow. like a pretty good speed, so go ahead and uh, we'll let it run for about 30 minutes or so and see how much we get out of it. One thing that I noticed while the mill was running is that a small amount of dust was being generated below the mill, which the best that we could determine was coming from the side where our makeshift uh, cover was made out of duct tape. So in the future, we'll be replacing that with a cork and then also enclosing some of the electronics in the fan or the motor on the back to prevent dust from getting into them as well. I'm gonna go ahead and shut down the mill and get this into the screener so that uh, get the fines out of it and then go ahead and pan it to see if there's any gold. All right, so I just wanted to show you the uh, different fractions of rock here. Here's the, uh, some of the oversize that came from it. Here's some uh, about quarter inch, three eighths minus. Here's some more uh, fines. I'm not sure exactly what mesh size this is, but it's a little bit too coarse to uh, pan. It's still gold in there, it needs to be liberated. And then there are some fines and some super fines that are in the bucket. So I'm gonna go ahead and take these because this should have the gold in it and then run it or pan it out and see if there's any gold. I've gone ahead and panned down the concentrates from the sample. And this was about a 15 pound sample of gold ore. And I'll go ahead and set the pan down here so you can see a closer look. But there was actually some nice gold in there. Uh, really some fine gold that's probably 200 mesh minus that we panned out. Uh, so really, really pleased with this test run. This is the first time I had a chance to really run this machine. So, and I will say that the uh, machine can also be repurposed for other uses such as a rock tumbler, which is another use I may create a different cylinder and run it at a lower speed to go ahead and tumble rocks. Uh, so anything where you need to have variable speed and a couple rollers in the cylinder, it works really well. So I'm excited to go ahead and run some more ore later and I'll see you on the next video.